Yeah, Mafia Magazine Radio. Yo, what's going on? It's uh, KK. What's good, K? What's what's up? What's shaking, baby? How you doing tonight? Oh uh, man, I'm doing good. Yeah, hold yeah. on for a second. Let me set you up real quick, all right? Uh, for all my listeners out there, man, we get the opportunity, man, to sit down with one of West Coast's up and coming artists, and he goes by the name of KK. And we're going to sit down with K for a little while, man. He's going to let us know, man, how things is going on his side of town. So, K, baby, how the industry treating you these days, son? Oh, man, man. You're taking it one day at a time, to be real with you. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, tell us, man, where you originally from? And uh, how long you been doing your thing? I've been rapping since about 08, on and off. You know, at first, when I first started, it wasn't, I pretty much wasn't getting nowhere. So I started doing other things. And then uh, just recently, like around 09, 010, I jumped back in the field and just, you know, went hard with it. I'm from uh, LA, South Central. Yeah. So, you know, but, uh, yeah, I just told myself when I jumped in at this time, I wasn't going to play with myself. I was just gonna go hard. And you feel me? Yeah. I'm here. Now I'm here. No doubt. So so what made you what made you kinda of give us a two part answer, man? Like what kind of made you kinda of give it up a little bit? I mean you already told us you wasn't really going nowhere. But you know what I'm saying? What inspired you to man get back in the game and see what you can do to make it all happen again? Well, I, I had a couple of friends that, you know, kind of big now and then it's like, you know, I'm a party type of nigga, so I'm always at some type of event or something. I used to just be like, damn, I just wish I could have a song or something that, you know, they're playing a club and they're females and, and everybody go crazy and dance and have a good time. Yeah. So, you know, that's when I said, like, all right, I'm finna, I'm finna do this. No question. So it's just like, you know, and it's, and it's fun too. So it's not really all about making money and you know, and all that. Right, it's right. It's fun doing it if you really do you know, if you really gonna do it. It's actually fun in the process. Yeah, no question. So, so here's my question to you, man. Like, you, you know, you kind of already halfway answered it. You know what I'm saying, in part. But yeah. when, when, who actually inspired you to make you believe that you can not only get back in it, but get back in it and and make a mark? You know what I'm saying? Like, make some noise where they know that this is KK doing his thing, and you know, just give me a little insight, man, on on what may have inspired you. You know what I'm saying, or who may have inspired you. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of funny because uh, I was in my room with my homies uh, and we were playing some of my we were playing some of our old music and my grandma actually walked in uh -huh. and she just spotted my voice immediately like is that true? I'm like yeah. So she's like oh I like that and, you know my grandma's old so when she <laughs> told me she was liking it and you know she just sent me she just told me I could just keep I could just you know full throttle with it. Right, right. So she like really is one of the big, big inspirations of why I'm like, all right, and then you know, pretty much you're my grandma. Yeah, that's that's good money right there, baby. So, so tell us, man, a little bit, man, where you getting your material from? You know what I'm saying? Like, where you pulling and deriving your material from, man? From the things that uh, you be talking about, man, when you putting your music down. Uh, you talking as far as beats or uh, or what? Just your lyrics, your material. Um, I pretty much rap about things that I really do, you feel me? Yeah. The things where I, where I might rap about a situation that's, that's not about me, you feel me, but it can relate to others. So, you know, pretty much I'll just sit down, take my time with whatever beat I'm using, and just try to, you know, yeah. try to, try to, try to, try to, I just try to talk about what everybody, what every, every young nigga my age is doing or wanting to do. No doubt. Yeah, no, no question. Yeah, that's pretty much, I ain't really trying to rap about no, a whole bunch of shit I don't got, you feel me, and all that type of shit, so I just try to just keep it one, keep it 100 to be real, because it'd be, a, it'd be stupid for me to rap about shit I don't got. No doubt. And when people see me, I ain't got none of it, so, you know, <laughs> that's pretty much what it be. Yeah, you know that, and that's going to create a problem in itself, as soon as the cat try to pop off, you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. you know, so so who crushing them beats for you over there, man? Give us a little insight, man. Who put them beats together over there in KK's camp, you know? Oh, man, yeah. My, uh, my, my, my young nigga, man, his name is, his name is uh, Lloyd. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he out of, uh, he out of Inglewood. You feel me? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's my boy. His name, his name, his name, Lloyd. He, he out of Inglewood. Okay. All my beats on my mixtape is original. You know, yeah. I just sit in the studio. He kind of know what type of what type of way I be want to go. Right, right, so, right. 
You feel me? We just put it together. Yeah. He's a talented nigga. Though. He yeah. probably one of the next. He probably one of the next to come out. There's gonna be a big name that y'all hear. Right. Right. So, so how'd you bump into Noah? How you know it hooked up, baby? You know what I'm saying? How, how you know it was able to put this together? Uh, I just came in. I just came to know it and just told him I wanted to put this. Hold on. I just came to know it and just told him I wanted to put this, this together. So it's like he told me shit. He wasn't tripping about no money or nothing. Right. So he just told me if I if I if I want to do it, let's do it. So it was day in day out. I really was in the studio like for three weeks straight. Yeah. So. What's you you coming out with a mixtape? I mean, you know, you got some singles. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little insight, man, on uh, you know what we need to look forward to seeing from you coming out your camp. Uh, yeah, I got one. I got a single out right now called uh, "Another Day, Another Dollar." I just shot a video for that. Okay. Uh, about a week and a half ago, a young girl uh by the name of Erica D. Hayes. Y'all can check her, look her up. Oh uh, yeah, it's called uh, "Another Day, Another Dollar." Just shot the video, so it should be out probably, if not this week. Probably the first, probably uh latest two weeks. Yeah. So yeah, that's the name of it. It's another day, another dollar. And that's also the name of the mixtape. Okay. So is the mixtape already out? Yeah, the mixtape is out. Yeah, y'all. Uh, they can go get it off of hotnewhiphop.com. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The mixtape is out. I released it uh, a couple days ago on the 28th of February. And so, so you got more videos with the mixtape, or it's just the one song that you did? Is all all that we gonna see you is, as far as optically? You know what I'm saying? Coming out of the mixtape. I got a lot of videos. You can actually uh, find me on YouTube under uh, Red Room TNT. You can type all that in together. Right, right. And uh, I got about I got about six or seven videos on there already. Okay. Probably more. I think probably more than that. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. So I hear you out there, man, doing your thing, man. You on tour? You know what I'm saying? Going, you know what I'm saying? City to city, state to state. You know what I'm saying? KK put it in and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, we've been hearing a lot of good things about you over here at Mafia, baby. You know what I mean? Well, that's cool. That's cool. Hopefully I can come out there to y'all and really, you know, sit down face to face and make it happen. But, yeah, I'm going to Texas in May. Okay. With my, with my other boy. We're going out there to perform at actually a strip club. Right, right. It's going to be our second time going out there performing at a strip club. No doubt. It's the, yeah. All right, so Kate, look, I got a question for you, baby. When, when it's all said and done, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be two years, three years, five years, whatever the case is, man. When people say KK, man, coming out of, coming out of Cali, man, you know, what's the thought that you want them to be speaking about you and your music, man, the things you did in the game, man, before you, uh, before, you know what I'm saying, well, before you had to put I, it down? One of all good things, you feel me, whether it's, whether it's my music good or I'm looking out, helping somebody. Feel me? Yeah. Get it done, I ain't really trying to, Tell motherfuckers to go out here and rob people and do all that other shit. Uh huh. I'm really just trying to keep people heads. You feel me? Really, at the end of the day, you just gotta remain humble. No doubt. That's pretty much what it comes down to. No just, question. You know, remain humble. Yeah. So you know, if you, if you ask about me, that's pretty much what, what a lot of people are gonna tell you. Mm hmm. So I mean, and then I got my other side where it's a party, 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 hanging out late night. You feel me? Right. So. Right, no question. For all my listeners out there, man, we had an opportunity, man, to sit down with KK, man. You know what I'm saying? Off the West Coast, man. He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, if you've been listening to the interview, you know what I'm saying? He just let you know where you can go get his mixtape. Be on the lookout for his single and his video, you know. Hey, K, baby, before we go, man, I'm going to give you one more opportunity, man, before we go. I want you to shout out and plug everything and everybody that's got you to the point of where you are today. All uh, right, yeah, I want to shout out. Uh, first of all, I'm going to shout out my team, Red Room. Mm -hmm. I also want to give another shout out to, uh, to to my DJ, Noisy Noise. Yes, sir. Um, my One of my other bros, Napo. Y'all can check him out, too. Uh, you know, and everybody pretty much is fucking with me. No doubt. Pretty much everybody is fucking me, I want, you know. Yeah. I want to give a shout out, too. Y'all to give a shout out to the area I'm from. Uh-huh. You feel me? It's LA, period. Yes, sir. So, you know, that's pretty much it. All right. For all my listeners out there, once again, man, we had the opportunity to sit down with KK, baby. You know, man, he just gave us a little tidbit, a little insight, man, on how he getting down and things he's doing on his side of town. Hey, K, baby, I appreciate you coming out, man, you spending your time with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no uh, doubt, I'll baby. Yeah, and, and, and I just want to say, man, you know, may you always be blessed, man, and continue to prosper in the things that you do every day. You heard? All right, appreciate it. Appreciate no doubt, baby. Peace.